O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. You are my rescuer, my help. O Lord, do not. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us call. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness. That for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses in the desert of Paran, Send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. You shall send one man from each ancestral tribe, all of them princes. After reconnoitering the land for 40 days, they returned, met Moses and Aaron and the whole congregation of the children of Israel in the desert of Paran at Kadesh, made a report to them all and showed the fruit of the country to the whole congregation. They told Moses, We went into the land to which you sent us. It does indeed flow with milk and honey, and there is its and here is its fruit. However, the people who are living in the land are fierce, and the towns are fortified and very strong. Besides, we saw descendants of the Anakim there. Amalekites live in the region of Negev, Hittites, Debusites, Jebusites, and Amorites dwell in the highlands, and Canaanites along the seacoast and the banks of the Jordan. Caleb, however, to quiet the people toward Moses, said, We ought to go up and seize the land, for we can certainly do so. But the men who had gone up with him said, We cannot attack these people. They are too strong for us. So they spread discouraging reports among the children of Israel about the land they had scouted, saying, The land that we explored is a country that consumes its inhabitants. And all the people we saw there are huge veritable giants. The Anakim were a race of giants. We felt like mere grasshoppers, and so we must have seemed to them. At this, the whole community broke out with loud cries, and even in the night, the people wailed. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, how long will this wicked assembly grumble against me? I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel against me. Tell them, by my life, says the Lord, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. Here in the desert shall your dead bodies fall. Forty days you spent in scouting the land. Forty years shall you suffer for your crimes. One year for each day. 
Thus you will realize what it means to oppose me. I, the Lord, have sworn to do this to all this wicked assembly that conspired against me. Here in the desert they shall die to the last man. The word of the Lord. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We have sinned, and we and our fathers, we have committed crimes, we have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But soon they forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel. They gave way to craving in the desert and tempted God in the wilderness. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, Help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. In this beautiful Gospel, beautiful and yet terrible. <laughs> terrible in the sense that fear, filling with, with fear, this Gospel is, is perhaps one of the most troubling gospels that we ever listen to where Jesus at the at the plight of this woman Jesus here at first not speaking at all and then beginning at least apparently to deride her and there's such a mystery in this gospel and, and it it's just a, it's so important I think to be attentive to all that it causes to arise within us in it I mean, just reading it and, it, you know, kind of leaning into it, it, it arises all of our worst fears. Is this who God is? A God who chooses favorites? A God who, who despises those who are most in need so that he can 
be with those who are the most important, you know? Is, that, is, God, is this who God is? And of course, it, so just, it, it's important to notice that that's what rises in our hearts. It's like our deepest fear, at least it's one of my deep fears. Is that who God is? But yet, and here is this woman who is coming with a faith, and she knows who God is, you know. And so she plays with God in a sense, you know, that I know that you are, that there's more to you than all of the world around that sees who you are. So there's this playfulness, I know who you are. I could even eat just the scraps of what you're giving and that will be enough. And the Lord, of course, knows who he is too. And he's revealed from the very beginning, yes, Israel is so important in the manifestation of who God is, but given only to draw all people to God. That's the, that's the whole purpose of Israel since the beginning. And here, of course, is Jesus, who is God's own self, ready, so ready to spill his goods, and not just the scraps, but all of them, all of them. Uh, and that's for us to see and to know deeply. And how, how often, I mean, it's, it's beautiful that this gospel arises our fears, but sometimes those fears are a part of our everyday life, you know, that people speak to us, you know, that, or, or what we pick up about who God is, or from the woundedness that arises, the questions that we have toward God. The Lord wants to speak into all of those, so to heal them and then to, to shower us deeply with his life all the way. And again, even though we might only ask for scraps, we can, we can be sure to be bold to ask for so much more. And of course, the, the Lord reveals his life, and it, it, it is revealed in the Eucharist. His life, not just held on to, he's not holding on to his life, but it, it is released entirely for us here spilled over you know, this altar dripping with himself washing over all of us with our hearts that, that are meant to be open wide and fearless that yes he gives us his life and all of it and so we we receive it we're playful with our lord who desires to give us the entirety of his life Let's stand together and offer our Heavenly Father, our prayers to our Heavenly Father. For the Church, may the love and unity of the Triune God be made manifest through her proclamation of the Gospel. We pray to the Lord. For our world, may God build stronger bridges and tear down all walls that divide. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For all of those who are on the margins of society, especially those who feel far off and away from God, that they may be enlightened and drawn nearer and nearer to receive the full bounty of God's goodness and his love. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For all of us gathered here, that our faith may be strengthened and deepened in God's goodness. We pray to the Lord. Amen. And for all of those who have died, especially for Alfred and Petronella Hettinger, for whom this Mass is being offered, may God soon welcome them to the, their eternal home in heaven and rise again with Christ on the last day. We pray to the Lord. God, our Father, hear and answer these prayers according to your perfect will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.